In 2019, I was at a point in my business where I knew I needed my business to expand. Despite being in the personal branding space for over a decade, my approach to clients always came from my company's perspective. And based on my experience, I am telling you that you need to get rid of the company branding if you want to grow your business. If you want to know what I mean by that, keep watching and I'll explain. <laughs> Welcome to Branding Bites. My name is Claire Bond and I am a personal brand strategist and the CEO and co-founder of Claire Bond Group. I have been helping people strategize and create their best personal brand for over 10 years and I want to help you leverage your personal brand to develop the authority, influence, and trust you need to exceed your business goals. Before we go any further, please do me a quick favor and subscribe or follow as it really helps me keep this video series going. In this video, I am going to be talking about how to grow your business in six months. These past six months have been the most profitable for me in my business. Not only have I fine tuned my process enough to build my team, but I have leads coming to me passively and actively. And you need both if you want your brand to thrive and succeed. So what did I do these past six months to help my business grow? Here are my steps to growing your business in six months. Month number one, you are going to want to define your personal brand. If you want your business to grow in 2021, you need to define who you are and what you want your brand to do for others. The way you portray yourself matters. Do it honestly and you will grow your business. Pretend to be someone else and you'll be inconsistent, unfulfilled, and slow to develop. From there, you can develop your personal brand statement. Now I have an entire video on that. If you want my easy formula, just click the description box and you will find that link. Then all you have left is to figure out your content pillars, research SEO keywords and start creating long form content such as YouTube videos or blogs. Month number two, you are going to want to draw up your business plan to grow your business. A business plan is made up of a few key components. It should include your ideal client persona. You're going to want to figure out your target demographic such as age, gender, and location. More importantly, imagine what these people dream about and what they struggle with daily. It could be something that you currently struggle with. Next, you're going to want to figure out your business revenue goals and keep track of them every quarter. And finally, create a social media schedule within your business plan. Pick a couple of platforms and start showing up consistently. Month number three, you're going to focus on inbound and outbound marketing. So inbound or organic marketing includes SEO blogs, content marketing, and using strategic hashtag hashtags on Instagram. Outbound marketing typically refers to paid advertising, but it doesn't have to. This is when you want to reach out to your sphere of influence for referrals, attend digital conferences, and genuinely converse with your ideal client on social media. All right, then we go to month number four, outsourcing. No matter how hard you try, you cannot grow your business without support. Typically your first outsourcing gigs will be virtual assistants, graphic designers, or a personal brand strategist. Then month number five, we're going to go into paid ads. Ads are only a good idea if you know who your ideal client is. That's why this is one of the last steps to growing your business to avoid losing thousands of dollars with arbitrary ads. Month number six, you are ready to book press and speaking gigs. Getting your name in the press serves two purposes. One, it looks very impressive and that social proof that you need to be sharing on social media. And the second reason is that it helps you reach new audiences. You can hire a personal brand reputation company like mine to help you book your speaking gigs or help you with press opportunities. There are also plenty of ways you can do this for yourself. Like I personally like to use help a reporter out or Harrow. It is the perfect platform to pitch yourself 
to journalists. And if you want more details about this, check the description box to check out my full blog. And if you're interested in learning how to take your personal brand to the next level, I would highly recommend signing up for my free personal branding masterclass so that you can start getting the recognition that you deserve to dominate your market. You will find the link again in the description box. It's chock full of stuff for you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.